There could be no greater contrast to the beautiful image of a mother holding her infant child than the chilling displays our nation saw in recent days. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blurred Lines, our first episode of our second season of JCU TV that promotes debates on important issues concerning our ever-changing society. My name is Sophia, and I will be your host today. Today's episode is on abortion. Abortion is the termination of a pregnancy after, accompanied by, resulting in, or closely followed by the ejection of the embryo or fetus. With further ado, let's introduce today's guests. We have Cheryl. Hi. Mike. Hello. And Adriana. Hello. So a few weeks ago in the state of New York passed a law that allows women to get legal abortions in the third trimester trimester in the health if the health and the life of the mother is at risk or if the baby would not be able to survive the birth. President Trump addressed this new law by saying these are li living, feeling and beautiful babies who will never get the chance to share their love and dreams with the world. At what point do you consider abortion okay, if at all, and uh, under what conditions? Should I start? Okay, <laughs> so um, I think that uh, abortion should be legal up, like I'm pro-abortion uh, when it's needed, or when the mother feels like it's the right choice, but I think that the period should be limited to the first two or three months when the fetus is not um, formed yet. Otherwise, the fetus, once it's uh, quite uh, in advanced like development, can like physically feel the um, the pain and be hurting. So I think it's a right for women to get abortion, but we also must consider that from one point on, the fetus can like a living being can can be hurt and feel pain. Mm -hmm. I think that when the um, when the baby's heart starts beating, that's when abortion should be banned. Um, I, I, if, I don't know if that's the first or second trimester, but um, the when the heartbeat starts, then abortion should be should be banned. Um, so I believe that I believe in intelligent design, and I believe that life starts at conception. But I'm also pro-choice. Um, I think that the decision to abort if the mother's life is in danger or the child's life is in danger is, again, perfectly legitimate. I, I don't believe in a certain time, I think, because I believe life starts at conception, um, that's appropriate to abort. I just think it's your choice, always your choice, your individual right to choose. Yeah. So there's a popular saying that goes around saying uh, her body, her choice. So what do you think if in a couple, say the partner doesn't want um, an abortion, but the person that's pregnant wants to get an abortion, I mean, it, or, you know, or vice versa, do you think um, there is, you know, any way of going around that? Um, I mean, I think it largely has to do with the precautionary measures beforehand. I'm, you know, who was responsible for birth control, if that was practiced. Um, I lean more towards her body, her choice. Um, but yeah, I think we also have to consider the precautionary things or actions taken beforehand as well. Um, to me, that's tough because it is circumstantial. There are things that have to be considered. Um, in terms of if there was a relationship and the couple did um, choose to have unprotected, unprotected sex um, and and one one person in the relationship is willing to um, go forth with the pregnancy and another one wants to stop that's just something that um, needs to be uh, talked about but I mean me personally I do think that if there is one person who does want to take responsibility of the child, then that person um, should be able to carry the responsibility of the child and have the child if, if they want. Yeah, I totally agree with him. Uh, also, like I go along with the idea that it's important to like get the precautions when 
uh, when one decides to, to have sex with someone, uh, not just like for pregnancies, but also for um, a matter of health. And also, so if the woman wants to abort while the husband wants to keep to become a father and have the child, I think he uh, he 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 has the right to have a say in the matter because there are still like two pe two persons involved in in the situation. So just because uh, the the wife doesn't want, uh, I think it it goes against like the right of the father. To, to have it. In the same way, if the woman wants to keep the child and the father doesn't want him, like the father cannot say, oh, you're not going to have a child because I don't want it. So it goes like both waves. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a hard discussion because, you know, it's, it's not, uh, there's no easy um, solution to it. Um, but speaking of birth control, uh, there's a recent attempt in introducing male birth control. And uh, however, in the testing, some of the men experience the side effects that us women go through. <laughs> and, <Wow>. um, <laughs> and so it was terminated. And uh, would male birth control be something that could possibly help the, um, or reduce abortion? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunately, we still live in a patriarchal society that um, it just, the idea of suffering isn't equal on both mm -hmm. ends in any way, shape, or form. And what I meant before about the previous question is that, I mean, it's completely invalid to say the father gets a choice if, you know, he does nothing to prevent it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I think the responsibility should be divided. Right. Um, for for me, if there's male birth control and um, it, like so, what if there's symptoms? I mean, there's symptoms with with um, t totally different types of medicine. It's just, I think, in terms of the context that people see, like, oh, it's it's male birth control. That's not something that's male, so we're not going to take. I mean, to me, that sounds stupid. If there's like, we have symptoms with every other medicine. Does like do, like cause exactly. nausea? So it's like that's that's stupid. I think if you're just looking at the circumstances of it being male birth control and putting the weight on someone else, that's stupid. Because I mean, you have to realize too that sex is something where it, it is intimate. And so if you're not if if you just want to be intimate during during sex, that's pretty stupid because that there is a responsibility on both ends, mm -hmm. and because of that, the the precautionary responsibility should also be split as well as the um. As as the latter, so uh, just like Adriana said, if someone isn't doing anything to prevent the um, the pregnancy and doesn't want to claim responsibility, then I, I do think that um, there is there is an illegitimacy on that side. But if if there is a willingness to um, to to um, to raise a child, or, then there should be a um, there should be a, the male should have the choice in the in the, how the child is gonna is gonna go. On. Yeah, def definitely. I think that it's important of also to have a male birth control, but also like we have condoms, so it's not like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but condoms are, but they prevent both health like health problems and birth issues. So I like I don't see the the issue with yeah. condoms like in using condoms. They're just but not as effective as like it's the ninety nine percent condoms. Yes. That's like, what I was taught. Just, I was taught that just, in sex ed, like ninety nine percent. Yes, so like you just have to attend the sex, like sex session during health week. I mean, I think we semester. should definitely. Oh, fact check! <laughs> I, call, I call for a fact check now. I mean, I would love to check. Yeah, check the statistics, of course, absolutely. But again, because it isn't medic, it, it's it is a physical object and because yeah. it's prone to so many things like temperature, like the way you handle it, it's not as effective, I think, personally, um, as oral birth control. I mean, that's definitely a personal decision, <laughs> um, whether you like condoms or not. Yes. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's for, for sure. No, later. <laughs> you know, but, um, well, that's a wrap. And thank you guys for, you know, being a part of this conversation. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching.